Hello everyone, nice to have you all back for our 107 channel. Today's topic, auxiliary air valve, also called air slide valve, of a DJ running engine. This topic was up some time ago, how to unbolt it, disconnect all hoses and such. We were doing that at a W109 300SEL 3.5 liters V8. We were testing its functioning, but what if this component fails tests and is blocked. The link to the previous video is on the right hand side above. Low idle, engine dies when cold, have to press a little on pedal, if you release pedal, engine dies, how to dismantle, check, clean and reassemble this air slide valve is today's topic. Let us start right after the introduction. A on bench check. We have our SEV tighten in this way. Tighten the bottom plate in your vise. Our job is to get the top end out of the tubular bottom housing without breaking these cast aluminium parts. It is sitting tightly. Do not try to pry it up with some screwdriver. You will damage it for sure. It will crack and is expensive to replace. Therefore take your time. It has to be extruded evenly with a steady hand. The easiest way is to tighten it this way. Take a heat gun and heat up the lower housing which is sitting on that base shaped like a hexagon. This way you expand the tubular housing maybe a tenth of a millimeter but this will do. Hundred and fourteen degrees Celsius will do the job. Next step take a pipe wrench and a hammer. Attach the pipe wrench below that pipe that exits at ninety degrees right on top of that circular crest. Hold tight and try to hammer gently against the wrench. Not a job for watchmakers actually, ah talking watches. Take off a mechanical wristwatch for sure, it would break. Penetrating oil will also help a lot. And now try it the other way around, cause I did not succeed at first. The tubular upper part of this assembly has only been pulled off a little. We try it with a different wrench, size 33, this time slide it in place on the opposite side of the air intake extension junction. It should sit on that crest and start hammering. You see, we are getting somewhere, just keep on hammering. We try again the other way around, twisting it with a pipe wrench slightly upwards. Du zerlegst jetzt das Innenteil bei Minute 6 und 0 Sekunden. This is what it looks like, all seized up. This part here, let us call it piston, bearing lower end of the coil spring, whatever. In here, in the lower end of the housing, is this pin which presses the piston upwards. Let us call it thermostatic pin, which is sitting on that brass bolt, which is right below like a plunger reacting to the temperature of the water of the coolant. We will clean all these parts later on. If this part is not tight anymore, right here, coolant will get into the assembly and clog this reciprocating mechanism. We will now submerge it in our ultrasonic pan, spray it with brake cleaner, use some fine sandpaper to scratch off surface corrosion to make sure all moving parts can easily move. Let us submerge all the parts in the ultrasonic pan and give it a clean. All 
components of our assembly are right here. Looks quite all right. Bottom housing, coil spring, piston. I will use some ultra fine sandpaper to smoothen the surface of this piston to make it move freely and easily inside the cylindrical apple sleeve. See, it still gets stuck. This looks much better now, but still far from perfect. Been cleaning everything, even using ultra-fine sandpaper in here to remove surface corrosion. Insert coil spring, then piston and test if the spring can push out the piston without getting jammed up. Better be safe than sorry, another wipe will help to smoothen the surface of this piston. This is a lot better now. Now let us see if this brass plunger is still functioning, which is pushing that pin upwards, which is pressing the piston upwards to close that air intake valve. Therefore, if engine has working temperature, the piston is closing the auxiliary air valve to alter the mixture of the fuel and air. This valve is then almost completely closed. Put it back into the vise. Use the needle of a caliper to measure distance from top end of the pin to edge of housing, having a 2.8 cm when cold. Now let us use our heat gun to heat up the plunger which will extrude that pin inside the housing, expanding wax it is. Pin has lifted up some 9 mm which will then be enough for the piston to close the valve. This is the principle of this whole idea. We will now assemble all components. When pressing it together, make sure the valve of the upper tubular housing faces towards the outlet pipe. Awful noise, maybe some oil for my squeaking vice. Do not damage the plunger, but use the base plate as counterpart to press it all together. Make sure it looks like before disassembling. The distances and the dimensions must be exactly the same to guarantee functioning. Here we see traces of the pipe wrench, but hey, this is a used part. This method using a wrench size 23 proved to be the most efficient way to pull it apart. Should be functioning. I am just admiring my work. Now let us bolt it to the engine. Air slide valve bolted to engine, working nicely. Let me repeat that. Do not use a screwdriver to pry at that crest because in pressure must be spread out evenly otherwise you crack that cast aluminium. To buy a new one is way too expensive. Use that wrench size 23 which is the most effective way to apply pressure evenly around that circular crest. To pull that upper housing from the bottom part, heat gun penetrating oil called a cavalry if you want any trick in the book is allowed. If you do not want to bother doing such job, send me the component and I will do it for you. Send it to my address, I will have it done and send it back to you. Hope you have liked it. Nice seeing you around next time again. Bye bye everyone.